kids so we are back in our science lecture and we are doing the soil chapter we have completed the chapter so now we are going to do the words to know and the question answers so words to know first is humus what is humus it is the mixture of the dead remains of plants and animals which makes the soil fertile what is loom it is a type of soil it is also known as the garden soil it is a mixture of clay sand gravels humus and water then the third is soil profile what is a soil profile there are different layers which are present in the soil the top soil the subsoil and the bedrock so that is known as the soil profile then what is soil erosion soil erosion is the wearing away of the top soil because of strong wind and rain means wearing away means the removal of the top soil which is the fertile soil then what is soil conservation the activity which prevents soil erosion yes like planting more trees then we are conserving our soil that is known as soil conservation preservation then what is crop rotation the practice of growing different crops in the same piece of land so crop rotation is we have to grow different types of crop in the same land we should not grow the same type of crop in one land in one land we should grow different different types of crop okay now let us do our question and answers so first short question and answer what is a soil so we have to write down the definition of soil that soil is a combination of sand slit clay with humus air and water then the second question is list three ways to conserve soil if we have to prevent the soil what we have to do we have to plant more trees then crop rotation means we have to grow different different crops on the same land then third is checking on floods by dams and reservoirs means we should build dams and reservoirs so that flood will not come and soil erosion will not take place then the third one is what determines the kind of soil found at a particular area we have seen that different different area have different different types of soil so how we can uh, find out that what kind of soil it is by looking at the size by feeling the soil we can take the soil in our hand and feel it also by the color and composition of the rocks now the fourth one is what does garden soil contain garden soil is also known as the loamy soil loamy soil consists of minerals air small animals and microbes microbes are small microorganisms which we cannot see with our naked eyes what is soil erosion soil erosion is the removal of the top soil by the action of strong wind and rain now let us see the long question and answer we have to explain the features of different kind of soils so we know there are clayey soil then we have sandy soil and we have loamy soil so the clayey soil is made up of clay yes and then it is sticky and lumpy and it holds a lot of water therefore plants do not grow in the clayey soil then second is the sandy soil so sandy soil is made up of sand and it does not hold any amount of water so plants will not grow in the sandy soil also then is the loamy soil loamy soil plants grow very well in the loamy soil because it is a mixture of both clayey and sandy soil and it also consists of humus and also loamy soil is known as garden soil because it consists of minerals air small animals and microbes then the next question describe the soil profile of a place okay 
how we can describe the soil profile so we have to describe the different layers of the soil the uppermost layer is known as the top soil and it consists of clay sand humus and water and it is also having air then tiny animals also live in this soil then below the top soil we have the subsoil yes and then below the subsoil we have the bedrock which is made up of big big rocks then the third one describe how crop rotation can help to restore re restore the fertility of the soil so we have to regain the fertility of the soil so how crop rotation can help we keep planting one kind of crop on a piece of land the soil loses its fertility it is important to grow different types of crop different time on a piece of land to replace the nutrients of the soil if we will grow only one type of crop then that one type of crop will only take one type of nutrients so that nutrients will get over and the other nutrients which are present in the soil will be remained will not be used yes so we should grow different different types of crop on the same land okay children now we will start with our new chapter in the next lecture bye bye